This is Twit. Uh, Craig is, of course, uh, the Craig of Craigslist, uh, but lately has been a great uh, philanthropist, uh, and among other uh, philanthropies, the Graduate School of Journalism at the City University of New York. That's why Named we sing Craig your Newmark praises. Newmark Graduate School of Journalism. Every, we sing it every week. Every week. Hi, Craig. Hey, it's my uh, pleasure to be here. I really do uh, listen to the uh, show fairly religiously. I am uh, very much looking forward to the immoral panic Gutenberg <laughs> drinking thing. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Oh, there it is. Ann has put up moral panic. You triggered it. You. Okay. <laughs> uh, Craig, um, it's funny because it's we, not we, water. we invoke you all the time. <laughs> what was it? Not water. <laughs> May not be water. Um, okay. Oh, inquiring minds got to know. It's after 5 p.m. Uh, <laughs> you're yeah, in New he's York, on the right? East Coast. Yeah, it's okay. Pigeon milk. I am, in the, I am in New York now in pretty much our new uh, our new home. Uh, new York, as it turns out, is much better for my health. Really? Uh, <laughs> is, is, uh, I, bagels. I they got more. bagels. <laughs> well, mostly I eat less badly. Um, in San Francisco, I would tend to uh, fill up a refrigerator for the day, but I have little discipline. I practice the seafood diet, and that's not good to lose weight. <laughs> in New York, I get a little food, but if I want more food, I have to decide if it's worth uh, putting on pants. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on the no pants diet is actually the... Uh, um, whatever, whatever substitute for self-discipline works, I'll do. <laughs> I can't go out because I don't have any pants. <laughs> no pants diet. So you're in, are you in Manhattan? Uh, yes. We're pretty much uh, in the village. Oh, nice. Uh, even in the, in the window, you see a little bit of a... Uh, a bird feeder. Uh, pigeons have been sporadically uh, trying to get into it and fighting among themselves. I saw them earlier, actually. Yeah, I want to see some pigeon action. Yeah. Here. Wait, um, are there any other birds in New York <laughs> other than pigeons? <laughs> I mean, I live there, but I never saw anything else. <laughs> the among ducks. The um, there are doves, and we have the occasional uh, sparrow, cardinal, uh, tufted titmouse, and a, a few others like that. Craig, are you a bird watcher? Uh, pretty half-assed. We put out food and water. If the birds decide to visit us, that's good. Uh, San Francisco, a lot more variety. We've seen a lot of the uh, wild parrots. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Nice. Craig's a bird lover. Bird lover. Uh, nice. And we should, yeah. we should note that Craig, um, ah. today, just, just before, uh, announced, hold on, where is it here, Craig? A whole new ph philanthropy. Uh, yeah, pigeon philanthropy. Yeah. What, what, what is that? that? <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> so Same Craig things. gave a grant to uh, Palomacy. Is that how you say it, Craig? Yeah. Una Paloma so Blanca. Palo Paloma is uh, a dove, yeah? To continue pigeon and dove rescue work for pigeonrescue.org. Oh, Wow. Yeah. I figure there are successor species... I should suck up to them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you also invest in robots? <laughs> I know, but I hedge my bets. I also have welcomed our uh, machine overlords. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> So that's really, is this is kind of uh, what you do now day in, day out? You, you don't run daily, uh, the daily operation at Craigslist, or do you? Well, I gave that uh, job up in the year 2000. Wow. Because... People help me understand that as a manager, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I've uh, retired. I retired a few years ago, uh, particularly considering that I'm uh, just short of seventy now. What? You don't look. At, you don't look not that old. I mean, I'm, lying, not being, I'm not blowing no. smoke. You don't. I would never no. have thought that. No, you're not. You're uh, not that close, Craig. I'm, I'm not going to well, I'll be sick. I'll be 69 soon, but I need to desensitize oh, myself. Yeah, you're getting used to it is what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I know. He's one year older than I am. I know. And he's trying to put I'm me closer to Craig, 70. Craig, no, I'm, Craig, I'm, I'm 64, and I do the same thing with 65. Yeah, I'm, I've, been, I've been preparing myself for that for years. It's not easy. Uh, not easy. Not make easy. Sure you, no. Make sure you sign up for uh, the appropriate parts of Medicare. I did. I did. 
I did. Very good. Because there's a penalty if you don't. I just, I was telling the yes. crew I did that yesterday, which is <sighs> wow. difficult. Yeah. Um, so you, so you're full time in philanthropy then, basically. Yeah. And you have, have done a lot of things, but it seems a, somewhat of a focus in uh, journalism. Well, right now, from my point of view, and my background is computer science is uh, somewhat abstract. I'm looking at uh, information warfare in different forms. The big priorities these days are uh, like helping with cybersecurity, fighting uh, disinformation, Good. or as the cool kids call it, uh, influence operations, <laughs> and also countering harassment, first focusing on the worst of it, which is directed against women journalists. There's other areas, including helping vets, uh, women in tech, and as you've seen, uh, pigeon rescue. <laughs> wow. By the way, here is the site Palomacy. It's Pigeon ah. Diplomacy at pigeonrescue.org. While you're at it, see, uh, now. Google Craig Newmark and pigeons, and there's some great pictures you'll see. <laughs> Craig gets up close and personal with pigeons. <laughs> Some I don't people, know if I would do that. Yeah, I mean, some people think of them as the <laughs> flying rats, but I guess, Craig, you're a open-minded fella. Well, uh, those those were stunt pigeons. <laughs> okay, when they good. Them. <laughs> good. Um, <laughs> as it turns out, pigeon pants is a thing. They're diapers, and you want to you want the pigeon to be wearing the diaper before it flies onto your shoulder. To coo lovingly. <laughs> I've learned that oh, the hard 100%. Way. Yeah. <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> I'm just glad you explained that the diapers were for the pigeons. I just was, I was unclear at the beginning and now I understand. Well, when you get to a certain <laughs> age. A little, a little bit yeah. better. A little bit better what you're um, talking about. I, I'd rather call them pigeon pants than depends. I like this. Now, now let me <laughs> pigeon pants. Let me uh, let me let me be the journalist and ask you the hard question, Greg. Is your support of journalism because of a little residual guilt? There are some journals that claim new Craigslist was the end of journalism because you, of course, took over their class, their very lucrative classified ads. Well, the uh, uh, in the rec in recent years, let's say the last several years, economists and industry analysts have finally taken a look at the numbers. Because I worried that Craigslist had a substantial effect. I assumed there must be something. Yeah. But some of the guys took a look at the numbers, adjusted for inflation, uh, looked at circulation, uh, household growth. Uh, Tom, Tom Bechtel, uh, an economist, took a look at this. And he showed, starting in the 60s or earlier, uh, when television news became a thing, newspapers started uh, dying. Oh, that's and interesting. That yeah. He shows in 2008 and 2009 how with the platforms taken off, that's when newspaper revenue uh, plummeted. Right. It's a big concern to me because, like I say, a trustworthy press is the immune system of democracy. Uh, perhaps it failed us in 2016. My instinct tells us that Craigslist had to have some effect but the economists tell me I'm just flattering myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at Craigslist and it's still exactly the same as it always has been, which is I in, still go in there. this day and age kind of refreshing. Who doesn't go there? You need an apartment? That's the place. I'm on is there, Craigslist. Is there an or like, yeah. Oh, no, I was going to say I'm on Craigslist all the time. It is my recycling plan for devices. Yeah. It's the way I get new yeah. furniture. I'm just like, yeah. Did, Craig, is yeah. there an origin story to the to the I use air quotes design? Yeah, I was going to ask him that oh. exactly. <laughs> um, in '96 or so, I'm not real clear. I realized that the emails I was uh, posting, uh, I could write some code in Perl that would turn those emails, which were in a predictable format, into web pages. I could write a script which uh, built uh, index pages, so I had free. Uh, web publishing, so it started right away. As it got a little more complicated, I realized that I have no design skills, but no. I know how to keep things simple. <laughs> Thank you. I know how to keep things simple, and as it turns out, uh, simple and fast 
are great uh, design points. And yes. what do you have against uh, uppercase letters? <laughs> that is a bit of a programmer uh, cliche. That is that uh, I do like a lowercase. It's easier to visually parse. But in, in the case of the name of the thing, I wanted to de-emphasize the uh, role and presence of the guy named Craig. Awesome. Hence ah. lowercase c. Craig has always been one of the most humble uh, of uh, uh, original internet uh, ah. folk. And so uh, we appreciate So one thing that. Craig and I talk about uh, when, we, when we chat as friends uh, that I'm curious what the latest is, is we compare gadgets and gadget hunger. Yeah. What, what are your current uh, phones, <laughs> Craig? Uh, I'm afraid I've overindulged uh, recently. Uh-oh. I do, have the, uh, I do have the Samsung uh, Fold 3. Nice. <gasps> okay. All Ooh. right. Okay. I want I, I want to get some in, input from you on that, but okay, keep going. Uh, well, the deal is it is a substantial improvement over the two. Screens much better, speakers better, it's faster, uh, more durable. Uh, battery life has uh, at best not improved, and that's a source of some uh, irritation. But I get a lot of proposals formatted eight and a half by eleven uh, PDFs, and so. Those are, you know, the screen is good for that. I do use my notebook for things, but sometimes, because sometimes you want a big screen and a big keyboard, but mm -hmm. my, my phone is my main computer. And, and, and let it be known that Craig is a Chromebook user because oh. Craig's a smart guy, oh. just like someone else you know. Yeah. I'm uh, oh, me? very aware of security <laughs> issues. Yeah. Security is a. Is he was a big talking about Kevin. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yes, I have actually taken some advice from Kevin. I will be upgrading uh, our systems. My wife and mine. We have twenty-two nephews and nieces between us, who all need uh, Chromebooks or Chromebook upgrades. I should mm -hmm. say twenty-two, but I I haven't checked today. <laughs> oh, congratulations! A busy, busy family. That's cool. So, what are you getting? Are you getting the Acer? Are you getting the Acer Spin, thing. or what are you getting? I thought I was um, going to ask him if he's getting a grand, like a grandson or a granddaughter. <laughs> well, you know, we each have our own interests. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you have a grand I, computer? <laughs> uh, no, it's a tiny thing. I may get. The HP uh, Chrome uh, Chrome base all in one. Oh, those are nice. Since yeah. I never, I never move my uh, yeah. notebooks around. Right. So you don't need a laptop. Yeah. Yeah. Not really. Sweet. Uh, so just the uh, Fold, or do you have other other devices in there? <laughs> well, I do have uh, the Fold as a backup. I have an old Pixel. Oh. And uh, I have some accoutrements like this microphone and a decent camera. I'm going to have to ask you about the microphone because everybody I know who's watching is going to say, what is he using? Not only does it sound good, it looks pretty sweet. Cool. Uh, oh, this is a Tula microphone a startup, a couple hundred dollars. Uh, it does make me sound like an NPR announcer. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually beautiful. I really like how it looks. It is. Uh, that's cool. And I do have a uh, lot of tote bags I'd like to give away. <laughs> <laughs> well, for a small contribution, you too can get a Craig Newmark tote bag. <laughs> uh, so, in fact, Craig, I saw it. Uh, you talked about it before pre-show, and I ordered it already. So mine's on, <laughs> mine's on the way. Partly because, in fact, like Jeff, you should get it too. It's a USB, USB-C. It, it obviously works with a Chrome device, Chromebook device. But also, it has internal memory, so you can record locally as you're as you're using it, which would be great for those times when. As you're long running. as you don't yell at me for whatever my microphone choice is, so I want I want everyone to be a witness. The how, Leo told how me could I yell at you? Microphone. How could I yell at you? This is the official. Oh, you find Craig your Newmark okay, mic. So this is the official Craig <laughs> Newmark mic now. So you can't yell at me anymore. <laughs> well, I ordered one too. So, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the uh, memory capacity will be good because uh, my uh, comedy tutor. Want some help recording a, a set sometime soon, and uh, I, I redundancy is a good thing, so I'll be recording him on my phone and so on. Okay, wait, 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 hold on now. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> you did that on purpose, Craig. I can tell. What, what do you mean, your comedy tutor? Well, I know I'm not as funny as I think I am, um, but around the corner here in the village. 
This is a guy who's been doing comedy for over 50 years. He was very, very popular in the uh, 70s. We're uh, trying to help a little bit. And he uh, he has uh, given me material to use, trying to help me with my delivery and timing. <laughs> I see you have a oh, writer. Boy. <laughs> I didn't know oh, this. Boy, yeah. the is it Lenny Bruce? Is that, uh, he knew Lenny Bruce. He's Whoa. that old. Whoa. Um, and he says, I have very little hope. But it's, uh, <laughs> At least he's honest. You know, he's not giving you false hopes. Like, um, yeah. At my at my age, everything I want for Christmas is at the drugstore. <laughs> <laughs> I says, can tell he wrote that for you. So it's good. The delivery yeah. was pretty good. Yeah, I think yeah. you, you kind of slung it in there. You under yeah, that's right. It's very that's nice. Right. Well done. <laughs> Can you say his name, or is it is it a secret? Is it private? Oh, his name is Dave Heenan. Okay, and he was much better known uh, way back. Um, of the collection of friends I have here, uh, who hang out at the same uh, coffee shop, there's a, a handful of people who've been here 50 years, and then there's a handful of people who just moved here. So that's uh, pretty cool about the village, and I'm afraid you don't find in San Francisco. Yeah. I th wow. I'm jealous because I think if I were going to live in New York, the village is definitely the place to live. It's beautiful. You're Coming right by Washington open Square Park. Near you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do some open mics, Craig? I have uh, sworn to not do any open mics. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. No come fun. on. Come on. <laughs> That's how you. That's how you test yourself. That's how you know you've got it. That feedback, yes. that link between you and the audience. Keenan's probably saying, "Whatever you do, Craig, don't do it." <laughs> I think I. Uh, I need to stay focused on areas which, in fact, uh, Jeff Jarvis uh, got me into. Um, he's responsible for my getting into a number of the fields that I spend most of my time in, so it is his oh, fault. Nice. No, no, no. He nice. gives me credit I don't deserve. Um, That's nice. Craig, Craig was interested in and concerned about journalism long before we met. Well, and that concern is no. well founded. I'm glad you. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing, Craig. Because no uh, doubt, it's much needed. Yeah, as a journalist, I've got to thank you. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Well, the the deal is that Jeff in 2017 got me to read the uh, NATO handbook on Russian information warfare. It described the techniques the Russians used in 2016. But as it turns out, uh, the same techniques had been used, uh, well, uh, in an unpleasant manner against me years before. So I, that actually really helped me out. And now hmm. I'm helping out a lot of other folks. It had been used against you? The Russians were out to get you? No. Uh, domestic Others. actors used uh, the same things. But they knew what they, were, mean, they, knew what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah. This, this goes back to uh, Octavian Caesar... Uh, uh, destabilizing uh, Antony and Cleopatra uh, seriously. Oh, believe me, you don't have to explain. Anybody, anybody in this business, everybody's in the public eye. Anybody who's ever appeared on Twitter at any point in time has experienced this, and it's uh, it is one of the biggest problems I see. Um, yeah, on the internet. Um, I'd like someone to throw in the phrase moral panic because I haven't had a beverage. <laughs> I put something in the rundown that had moral panic attached. I'm trying to Well, Craig, I, I also don't want to keep Craig too long. I, I know he's got pigeons to uh, diaper, and I don't want to get in the, way, in the way of whatever your plans are for the rest of the afternoon. But uh, we are thrilled to have you. We invoke you every week, as you know, and it finally worked. Yes. Well, the, uh, the remnants of Hurricane Ida just stroke just struck yes you may get darker outside yeah so i may have to lay uh, my meal uh or my snack for some time uh -oh. although i've already uh i've already performed the uh, pants part <laughs> we did we did see however and i think this was something we were talking about we did see your kitchen you sent us a, a photo of your kitchen and it's beautiful oh. and i i take it your wife is quite the cook as well um She's learning in, in big ways, and I really appreciate that. I think you got a good view of the uh, the autopsy table. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's, I guess that's what no you worries, call yes. that, right? <laughs> yeah. It's uh, good. We just have to hose it down after a... Uh, after a Okay, he and his tutoring working. sessions. I think are it's working. going. It's really working because <laughs> yeah. you got us laughing, Craig. It's awesome. 
That's oh, so awesome. Greg, by the way, right now is in, I love this part, is in a carriage house. Oh, neat. So, so he has yeah. the ghosts of horses around him. Oh, there was a, a fatal fire a century ago, so the ghosts are more than horses. Oh, wow. But yes. they're oh, friendly. Boy. Are you are you in the remnants of the shirtwaist uh, factory there, or uh, not far from it? We're about a ten minute walk. Ah, uh, wow. Uh, well, Craig, a real pleasure to meet you. To, actually, we've met before. I I think I interviewed you many years ago, but it's a real pleasure uh, to reconnect. Uh, I'm just generally putting for brains, uh, so, but you must be right. <laughs> it was so long ago, Craig, I barely remember it. Uh, so it's okay. okay. I, I, I completely for, forgive you for that. Craig Newmark, philanthropies.org, if you want to see all the amazing things uh, Craig is up to. Um, and Thank you, my friend. We are very grateful to what you are doing, what you've done in this uh, in this century, as well as what you did in the previous. Thanks, folks. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, Craig.